It's a new week and this is the week the Lord has made for us to rejoice and be happy. Nina imani kwamba ulikuwa na weekend njema tunapoanza siku ya Jumatatu. Ningependa nikualike tuendelee kujifunza mengi zaidi kusiana na madhabahu. Wiki iliyopita tulielezea ni kwa nini tunahitaji kuwa na madhabahu katika nyumba zetu. Na hii leo tunaanza kujifunza namna ya kutayarisha mahali speciali madhabahu katika nyumba yako. Na jambo la kwanza ambalo tunaweza kuliangalia ni kugundua ya kwamba tunastahili kutafuta mahala ambapo pamekimia. Mahala ambapo hautakuwa na any distractions. Mahala ambapo a place where is silent, a place where uh, like if it's in your house you're not facing the road. Ni mahala ambapo hata wewe ukiangalia panaweza kutakaswa a place where you can anoint. Kwa hivyo tunasema nini? Kama ni kwa nyumba yako, mahala kama ni sitting room, hakikisha kwamba labda ni pale nyuma ya kiti, labda ni pale kando kabisa. Kama ni kwa bedroom yako, ni mbali na television kwa wale ambao wanaweka TVs kwa their rooms. Kama ni mahali kama um, another extra bedroom maybe you can ensure haiangali mahala ambapo kuna kelele yani ukiingia pale unaanza hata kuhisi roho wa Bwana ameshafika unahisi kwamba hauko na wengine umeingia pahala patakatifu katika biblia we read together the book of deuteronomy 27 uh, verse 6 it says You shall build the altar of the Lord your God of uncut stones and you shall offer on it burnt offerings to the Lord your God. Yaani wale wana Israeli walikuwa napewa maagizo na Mwenyezi Mungu hata anasema aina ya jiwe ambalo lingetumika kutengeneza pale mahala kwa sababu palikuwa mahala patakatifu nasi ikiwa tutaufuata mfano wa wanaisraeli na walivyoambiwa na Mungu kwamba you shall build the altar of the Lord your God of uncut stones and you shall offer on it burnt offerings to the Lord your God sisi kufanya ni kwamba pale sisi tukienda tunajitoa sisi wenyewe like burnt offerings kwa kwa wanaisraeli walikuwa wanatoa wanyama but for us kwa sababu Yesu alikuja na akatuondolea dhambi na akatuosha sasa lilosalia ni sisi wenyewe kujitoa kama living sacrifice tunajitolea kila kitu ambacho tuko nacho tunajitolea nafsi zetu mawazo yetu kila kitu ambacho tuko nacho tunajitolea pale kwenye madhabahu and that is why we need altars in our homes mahali ambapo tunaenda kujitoa kama dhabiu kwa ajili tunaenda pale to worship the Lord tunaenda pale kukutana na Mungu kutafuta uso wa Mungu kutaka kumjua zaidi kwa hivyo tumesema hii leo ya kwamba mahala ambapo tunatengeneza ndani ya nyumba zetu pawe ni mahala ambapo hapana distractions usiende ukaweka madhabahu yako mahala ambapo next ni vyombo ambavyo ni chafu. Ukienda pale kuomba na unaona vyombo unakumbuka ah sijaosha vyombo. Ukienda pale kuomba na pa, 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 na pile of clothes. Yaani nguo chafu. Unakumbuka ah na ninahitaji kuosha hizi nguo. Ukienda pale kuomba na kuna TV naongea hapo ah mara kipindi kinakuja kile ambacho unapenda ndio wewe umeangalia. So we are saying the first thing we need to do kutengeneza madhabahu yetu katika nyumba zetu tutafute mahala ambapo hapana distractions mahala ambapo tukiingia pale ni mahali takatifu ni mahala ambapo tunasikia wema wa Mungu uwepo wa Mungu roho wa Mungu anaanza kutembea nasi nina imani kwamba wiki hii by the time tunamaliza friday Mungu akitujalia tutakuwa tumetembea step by step tuone na tujifunze namna tunaweza kutengeneza haya madhabahu katika nyumba zetu have a very blessed monday